There he is. Hi. Hey. Oh, is this the man of the hour? You are Andy. Yes, sir. Yeah. My name is Andy Fancher. I am a uh, senior in high school, 18 years old. I'm gonna put this guy okay. right here. Okay. I enjoy interviewing World War II veterans. I just, I love history, and I, I really see a calling for that. So we're gonna start off with some uh, easy questions for you, if that's all right. What I do with that is I just condense their story, I find newsreels that pertain to their story, and I assemble it and just publish it online for other people to see and enjoy. But the tanks were getting shot, a lot of them, on the road, so they left the road and tried to get out of the fields. It's important to me because, in all reality, we won't have these guys for much longer. I mean, all of the World War I veterans are gone, and these guys right now, minimum, are in their 90s, 90s you know. And I've experienced this myself. Five of my interviewees have passed on since I interviewed them, and I was the last person to capture their story. When we got to the beach, pandemonium broke out. The shells were coming to the right and to the left and back out in the water and in, on the, in, in the trees in front of us. Carl Matthews, he was 91 years old when I interviewed him. And he went into the Marine Corps at age 16 in 1940. And by the time he was 20, he had returned home after invading three islands and receiving a Purple Heart for his service. And after interviewing him, him and I really created a, a one-of-a-kind relationship. You know, weeks after, he'd start calling me grandson. He was very special to me. He will forever hold a very important part in my heart. This is the World War II era naval uniform, pristine condition. This is Seaman First Class, which was what my interviewee was, Lewis Beavers. He gifted this to me. Uh, following our interview on the day of, one thing I've taken from it, that in today's society our freedom is really taken for granted. I mean, you hear what these guys did 70 years ago and how that still impacts the way we live today and how people just take their service for granted. It's, it's quite sad. 